Shalom Kharim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. North Korea threatens merciless strikes as U.S., South Korea, and Japan began their naval drills. And in fact, those naval drills have already started launching uh, uh, bombs all along the edge of the line there where North Korea is at. And Kim Jong-un has promised uh, the United States, South Korea, and Japan that if one single mistake is made, one single bomb enters into his territory, it'll be merciless strikes, and it will be from both land, sea, air, you name it, he's going to unleash everything he's got. He says if they infringe on the DPRK, that's the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, sovereignty and dignity, even a bit, its army will launch merciless ultra-precision strikes from ground, air, sea, and water, said North, uh, the North State News Agency, KCNA, as cited by Reuters uh, News there. This is RT is reporting on this here. The United States, as you already know, we reported as uh, dispatched B-1 and B-52 bombers to South Korea. Also, drones have been moved into the region. A major buildup by the uh, U.S. military there in this region here. And Reuters, of course, uh, already reporting that the, the drills have begun. And um, it's just going to be interesting to see how this plays out nonetheless. Um, also, Libya, uh, Khalifa Haftar launches offenses to retake the oil ports. And according to some different news sources, BBC being one of those there, that the U.S. has also uh, dispatched their own special forces into the region there. Um, that is going to be something that will not go over too well with NATO and their allies after Russia intervened with Syria. Now it appears that Russia may very well, in fact, be involved uh, in General Haftar's uh, battle to take the country. And this, we do know that according to, um, I believe it was, let's see, Russian news here, yes, or no, this is the Middle East uh, monitor here. Russia sends mercenaries to back Li uh, Libya's Haftar, uh, Gen General Haftar, it says a force of a dozen armed private security contractors from Russia operated until last month in part of Libya that is under the control of the regional leader uh, Khalifa Haftar. Reuters reported on the head of the firm that hired the contractors as saying it is the clearest signal to date that Moscow is pre prepared to take back uh, up its public diplomatic support for Haftar, even at the risk of alarming Western governments already uh, irked at Russia's intervention in Syria uh, to prop up the dictator President Bashar al-Assad. Now, that being said, uh, this, is, this was under the mercenaries, and uh, it's very, very much the same thing that President Barack Obama was doing inside of Syria as well, hiring mercenaries at the tune of 35 different nationalities that have been fighting in the country to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. Doesn't sound like the type of thing that you should be doing to a democratic government, does it? But nonetheless, they do it. Now, Russia, uh, according to um, the Guardian, I believe it is, yes, the Guardian, Russian special forces sent to back renegade Libyan general are the reports. Deployment just over the border in Egypt may be uh, in support of, of Khali Haftar after aimed at gaining leverage over Libya's eventual ruler. So, as the Guardian is saying, they're not actually deployed, deployed in the country as of yet, but they are, they are deployed uh, inside of Egypt, which we know that Russia and Egypt do have very close ties uh, together as well. And it is believed that Russia may, in fact, come in and back up uh, General Haftar uh, in taking back this country there. We'll have to wait to see how that plays out. Russia definitely getting more and more active on the world stage. Uh, and no doubt will not make uh, too many of their other allies around the, the world very happy uh, regarding this. Um, and other news as well, in Israel, we had an explosion that took place at a, uh, at a uh, fireworks factory here. Two were killed in this blast. Sorry. Um, you see it as it's going off here on your screen right here. They're showing the blast. Look, like somebody's trying to run from this. Uh, the fireworks going off everywhere. Seven people were injured in the blast. As of yet, no one really knows why it happened or what caused the blast, uh, at least at the report when we got ready to go to air here. But again, two people were killed in the blast there inside of um, 
uh, inside of Israel there, the explosion that occurred there. And that is, um, let's see, trying to see if I saw the name of the town. I saw it earlier on here, um, the name of the town here. So at least two killed and six others injured in Tuesday when a fireworks warehouse exploded in the central town of Porat. As of Tuesday afternoon, police are continuing to search for additional people that may be trapped in the building as the building, building fire continued to burn. We'll try to update you more tomorrow on that uh, to see how that plays out there. Uh, anyway, I'm Stephen Bedoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We did, uh, we are listening to the, to the comments that you guys are making, even though it's getting like a humongous amount of comments on some of our videos, up to over a thousand comments on one video just recently. But um, uh, one person was mentioning the audio issues and another uh, suggested that uh, egg crating on the wall would help. Uh, in our office that we are in now, uh, we do have concrete walls, so we will be working on trying to do something to resolve the echo that is coming in. Uh, it's definitely not the microphone system. We do have state-of-the-art uh, uh, Sony uh, system here to be able to do, to do the recording with. Uh, and also the lighting. Uh, we did try to get a diffuser, but it still pops up on the screen. So we're trying to work that out as well so that you don't have that light reflection inside the screen. We did uh, move the lights around a little bit in here. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. I'm Stephen Badoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you and, and thank you also for those of you that support this ministry. It is a ministry, Israeli News Live is. We cover both prophetic as well as uh, some from time to time teachings as well. And if you'd like to be a part of that, we certainly do need your help. IsraeliNewsLive.org is our website. You can donate there online.